have been making videos for two and a half years and not only that, I've been making them regularly. Every week I've scheduled a video for Friday, which is actually kind of insane if you think about it. Even when I was on holiday, I managed to have videos backed up and maybe now and again I'll miss one week because I didn't feel like it or like something happened and I couldn't physically do it. And I can't believe that it's been that long and so much have changed, which is why I'm making this video to kind of catch up on everything that has changed because I feel like my videos, even though they have changed somewhat in style, they have always kind of stayed to one thing and I will talk more about that later. But hi, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in two and a half months, three months. Don't ask me. I really don't know. I don't want to think about it, honestly. <laughs> but I've been really, really happy with the time I've had off because I have managed to finish the whole of Snowcat Prince. It was edited, it was controlled, it was printed, It's I paid a lot of money. <laughs> and I'm currently waiting for a proof of the case around the book, which is really fancy. And also the, the full order of the books and some other few things. But I've spent all the time that I've had off to work on the Snooker Prince. And that's partly what has made me realize what I love about making things and why I want my YouTube content to change a bit. I'm going to stop the pre-orders for the Snooker Prince, so if you are at all interested in getting a copy of the hardcover physical book, uh, it's still up on my shop, but I don't know for how long, so I'm just putting that in there to just let you guys know. So do we want to talk about what, what I'm going to do? Because a lot of things have changed since I started making videos. And as I said, like everything feels like it's kind of stayed the same in the video format in my YouTube channel. And honestly, I've gotten bored of that style or that kind of regular, you have to post something every week. I just get really... <sighs> Yes, on one side it's pushing you to do more creative stuff, which is really good. You need that sort of pressure to continue to do art and it's it's a good pressure. But for me, YouTube has become a weird, annoying thing that I have to do. And I, I, I still love YouTube. I still love the community that you guys have created here. It's kind of incredible. And I still consume YouTube every single day. So it's not like I'm gonna quit it. But I have, I, I tell everyone that I have three phases when it comes to things that I do. Um, I do a lot of different stuff, Patreon, YouTube, my shop, projects, whatever. But like I have three stages. The first stage is I'm so excited. I can't wait to just spend all my time on this one project and I'm so excited. I get really fired up. And then I have, ah, I don't really care for this anymore, but I can keep going, keep going, keep going. And then my third one is, I can't do this anymore. It physically hurts. And it's weird. It's like an art block with videos. It just physically hurt to do videos by the end of 2019. So that's why I wanted to change it. Uh, but changing YouTube things is really, really scary because algorithm and viewers and all that stuff. But luckily for me, I'm not dependent on YouTube ad money to fund me. I have my Patreon, which is insanely amazing, which is kind of just letting me take time off to finish the book and and like giving me the calmness to like, it's okay to change things up. And honestly, I personally think and feel that changing the content will make people come and watch my videos more. See, my understanding, or like, I don't know, understanding, I don't know quite about everything about YouTube, but my feeling about YouTube is that every time you subscribe to someone, they will, YouTube will keep showing you new videos or old videos. And the more you click on those videos, the more they're gonna show those videos. So when that artist posts a new video, you are gonna see it. But then if you stop clicking on those videos, YouTube is slowly going to show that those videos from that artist less and less and honestly i get it people get bored and if it's the same content over and again you are going to slide down into a different like sort of your account and all that stuff so that's at least my personal feeling around algorithms so if i do good videos that people actually want to watch maybe that will be better for me in the long run. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself. Just a lot of things have changed uh, in my life from kind of just making videos to push myself to do art, 
to kind of just doing videos because I had a YouTube channel and now I want to make YouTube videos to inspire people because I get so many messages and this really makes my day every time I get them is that people are inspired to do their own projects they're inspired to start a new comic a book a illustration series they're inspired to do stuff like that and i don't think there's enough artists online that promote project-based things so for me it, it's weird to switch between when i started youtube and now it's that i think at some point art became less of the art the piece Oh my god, do you know that thing? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. To just a tool for telling a story, making designs, doing like at some point in my professional career with art, it kind of it switched over and it's it's weird. It's like a feeling of I can switch my style to whatever I want. The challenge is no longer drawing, the challenge is what are you gonna tell with your drawings? And I love that and I want my channel to reflect that which is why I'm probably no longer going to do like random art videos or random designs on my YouTube channel. So for the main change of my life <laughs> for 2020 I am going to make everything that I do every every social media that I'm on is going to be project-based. I'm using project-based as my word, there might be a better word, but everything is going to be about one project or multiple projects during a year. I don't know how long one project could take, but my biggest regret from 2019 is to have so much to juggle that I let the snowcat prints be in the background, which is doesn't really matter that much because it went it just did amazingly and i can't thank you guys enough for being such a supportive group of people who wants to like buy my comics but i feel like the process of making the comic was such a big thing i spent a year on writing and drawing all the pages like i'm doing this full time i spent a year doing that and i haven't shown anything since like february last year when i was still doing some vlogs so i'm sitting here with like no recordings of me struggling and crying and pushing myself to get through it and i feel like that is some of the most inspiring things to see from other artists the the struggle of finishing something and that's what led me to realize that i want my youtube channel to be that i want to film the whole process of a project it might take a few month well a few months a few weeks a few months i don't really know how long each project is going to take it's going to depend on the the length of the story the comic i don't know <laughs> whatever and i'm gonna film all of that edit it together to be really really cool maybe two episodes maybe three episodes but it will be contained and then at the end of those videos or that video i will release that comic either most likely digitally because of a thing that I'm going to talk about in a little bit but I I want to give you a set video style that is not just vlogs I don't want to well I will do vlogs I will come back to that too um, but I want it to be more of a documentary thing it's not going to be like just hey this is what I'm doing today it's going to be day by day thing by thing um, but I'm just excited to do video styles like that because I never thought that I could and I think that's gonna be really really fun so the main change that is going to happen on my channel is that I am no longer going to have a set schedule it's no longer no longer going to be every Friday it is going to be when I have a video to post and I know that sound might sound very backwards when it comes to other YouTube channels who post every week maybe even three times a week which is insane to me um, but I personally think that the more work that I put into a video the better quality it will be and the more people will love it and that's kind of my goal um it's no longer to 
please watch this video. <laughs> so yeah, that might be the, the biggest shock to people that I'm not gonna post, um, but I want to post quality and that's also why I'm gonna prompt you to click on the subscribe button and probably the notification bell so that you will be updated when I do come out with a new project-based video. Um, it might not even be a project itself, it might be a how to do something or tutorial because I want to teach something how, like, how you do something like that. Um, but it's always going to be honest it's going to be uh... yeah i don't know i don't know yet okay i'm gonna be honest i don't know yet i just want to do it and i'm excited for it and having that excitement to do videos like that is probably the best thing that i could have right now because before christmas i was struggling to push myself to do videos and it was horrible and i was crying it was like an art block mental art block with videos instead of art. It was it was insane. But so that you don't miss me too much, I will be doing vlogs on my vlog channel. If you didn't know, I have a vlog channel, it's called Dina Studio Days, and I will be doing not regular updates, but definitely every two months uh, two weeks updates with like vlogs and filming my face very very relaxed videos so if you want to see that i personally enjoy uh, like love videos like that from other people please go check that one out and if you do love my jaw with me style videos i recommend coming over to my twitch i know a lot of youtube people who watch youtube don't like twitch for some reason and I just encourage you to at least download the app. If you enjoy my rambly, long drawing illustration videos, you are going to like Twitch because it's pretty much that, but three hours instead of 30 minutes. So you get all of it. And you can also watch previous streams like videos over there. So you'll have that too. But yeah, that's like the biggest changes <laughs> and they were pretty big. But I think the most exciting thing, although don't quote me on this, but this is something that I do have as a goal for 2020 and that is to start traveling. I have been inspired by not only my mom and dad who bought a little camper van and started traveling around Europe, like living, living as a camper people, like van people, and I love that. Uh, but also my sister who's going to travel now for three months and I just I want to travel. So my goal is to be a digital nomad and I don't think I've seen any nomad artists, illustrators, so I'm excited for that. That will be a lot more over on my vlog channel, probably film it for other videos on YouTube, but I'm just excited to get rid of everything I own. <laughs> Find everything that I work on to do videos or illustrations and work to be iPad, Mac, tiny camera, tiny microphone, phone, <laughs> and just keep everything compact and travel around the world and still do projects. And my main thing's going to be comics and stories still, uh, but I'm probably going to sell them digitally, like digital reading files or web comics. I don't know yet, I'm going to figure that out. Um, but that is kind of my goal. I just want to be free um, because things changed a lot. As I said, from when I started YouTube, I started with a full-time job and now I'm freelance, currently supporting myself completely on my own projects, which is insane. My full-time job was art, yes, concept art. But you know, like, that's two wildly different places to be in your life. I also started with how much debt? 30,000 pounds? 40,000 pounds? A lot of debt, but I paid that off in 2019 because of the Kickstarter, which is actually insane too. So now I can save money, which means I can travel. Which means that I'm no longer stuck to one place. Me and my boyfriend, we don't have any pets, we don't own a house. We are so free right now. He's also freelance, he's a concept art, free, con freelance concept artist, words. Um, so we are so free and I'm so excited because there's so much we can do. So if everything goes to plan, we either leave in May, June, or we leave in September, depending on what we can do. Uh, I hope earlier, but that's just me because I'm very... I, I, I jump on things and I, I go with it. Uh, but late at the latest September and then we're going to Japan. 
I hope, because I really want to go back to Japan. Anyway, that's all going to be documented. It's all going to be videos on my channel, vlog channel, who name it, like everything. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Can you tell? So excited. So I hope that you guys are excited to come with me on this journey. And I hope that you are still excited to see my videos and be inspired to do projects rather than just pretty pieces or illustrations even though you maybe not be at the level that you want to be at when it comes to art you can still do projects and i think having projects is probably a better way to improve anyway so anyway i'm not i'm gonna stop talking um and yeah i don't know when the next video will be but i feel like this is a good starting point i'm talking just directly to the camera which is pretty a pretty simple video but i feel like there's so much information that i wanted to get out that i couldn't really just you know, just make a cool video suddenly. I have to explain myself a little bit because this is the art community we're talking about. You guys like face-to-face -face things, I think. And art, of course. Um, next video is probably going to be February because that's something I'm doing currently. And I'm going to start filming some vlogs including that. And that's going to be the next video probably coming up in the beginning of March. I also have the second part to the risograph printing. Wait. This is the finished piece. I love risograph printing, so I'm gonna do a video about that. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I hope you guys are excited. Please subscribe and click the notification bell if you do want to follow me and my journey to do whatever I'm gonna do, because I don't know yet. <laughs> I love you all. Please comment down in the comment section because I actually do want to know what your plan is for 2020. Is it to finish a book? create something, um, do something, I don't know, whatever you are planning to do for 2020, what is it? I want to know. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!